Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have a quick little video here for you guys. I was over watching a video um, that the Rebel reseller put out. And I don't know if I've ever used this before, but if I have, I forgot about it. You guys, this is so fast and easy. The quickest way to get a response from eBay and get negative feedback removed. Um, I just tried it after watching her video. I had one that was removed and one that was not. And I'll tell you about both situations. And then I'm also going to show you a clip from the Rebel reseller where she got two items removed and she tells you about it. And I did get permission from her to share this clip. But um, you guys, how did I not know about this? So I'm wondering, do you know about this? So I'm going to screen share here and show you guys um, exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so I have my screen share up. First off, I want to say, please go and sub to the Rebel Reseller. She is almost to 2K subs. Her channel is growing like crazy. Her views are amazing. Um, she sells tons of plush, but she is also a very well-rounded seller that sells a little bit of everything. Um, her format is very similar to mine, my what sold video. So I think you guys will really like it. The video I was watching is I sold 43 items to one person, to one buyer. Oh my goodness, you guys go check it out. But um, I'm going to show you the clip about feedback after we talk about how you do it. So stay tuned for that. Please go subscribe to her in one of her videos. Comment Bolo Buddy sent me and sub her up. You guys, you will not regret it. She is amazing. Um, super kind, super humble. You'll just love her channel. Okay. So I'm in here. And if you go over to seller help and you click on that, it is going to take you maybe, let me click on it again, into request assistance. This is basically eBay customer service, you guys. Request to remove feedback, request to remove the defects, request a selling limit increase. This is great for new sellers. Report an issue with a buyer and need more help. So what I did is I clicked on request to move, remove feedback. I had two here. This one eBay did not remove. The other one was removed in like 10 minutes, you guys. It was a global shipping thing and it qualified. Now, this is not going to work in every case. If somebody left legitimate feedback, um, your feedback is probably not going to be removed. Uh, but there are cases where eBay will definitely remove it. And this is a great option. When you click on it, it gives you um, a comment section where you can go in and type what the issue is and why you think that eBay should remove the feedback, which is great because you get to tell eBay your side. Now, in this situation, I don't know if the person that checked the, um, the messages, so I'm just gonna tell you what happened here. This person left me a negative feedback. I reached out to them and I said, hey, um, if you're not happy with the item, I'm sorry that you misunderstood the listing. It was completely, um, they ordered by mistake. It was their mistake. And I said, please open a return. I'm happy to take a return. They opened a return. They returned the item. I asked them if they would consider revising the feedback for me. They said, yes. Um, I sent them a feedback revision and they messaged me back saying they could not get it to work, that when they clicked on it, it was not working. So I don't know if that was user error, if eBay was glitching, but I have a bunch of emails back and forth of them stating they cannot get it to work. I reached out to eBay for business on Facebook, asked them if there was anything they could do to help me. And they told me no, um, that the buyer would have to reach out to them directly and request that they change it. Um, I really feel like because I had proof in the messages that this should be a situation where eBay can go in and just fix the problem. Um, I feel like it puts a burden on the buyer to do additional steps um, if eBay is indeed glitching. So they said no. So I decided to also request to remove feedback through this service. And they said the same thing that this one was not eligible for removal. So unfortunately, um, I'm stuck with this one. So it's a case by case situation. I wish eBay would have looked at those messages and removed the feedback, but they did not. 
Um, the other one again was removed in 10 minutes, you guys, maybe less. I don't know. Just amazing. The service was so fast. I'm super excited about this. So definitely try it again. We're going to go over here. I'm on my listing page and I'm going to the seller help and I am clicking request to remove feedback. All right. So I'm going to take you straight into the rebel reseller where she talks about some feedback that she got removed. Again, you guys go sub her up. She is a wealth of knowledge and let's hear what she has to say. This is Gotha. Let me tell you a story. This teddy bear sold for $8.05. Uh, I think it was yesterday morning. I wake up to a message from this buyer saying that she hasn't received it. And I went and I looked at the tracking and it said that it was delivered like January 19th. So I just sent her a message, kind of the same blurb I always send. The tracking is showing delivered. Please check with your post office. Um, they do have GPS tracking and they can tell you if it was delivered, you know, to your address. I instantly got a negative feedback and I just wonder, this is where my brain went. I'm just wondering, does that work for her that she does that? And then a buyer will, or a seller will contact them back and say, let me give you a refund if you'll remove the feedback. But I didn't, I clicked on that little button that's up in the right hand corner that says seller help asked them to remove the feedback stated just bluntly that it's tracking is showing delivered and within probably 10 minutes the feedback was gone i think too many sellers get upset when they get a negative and just go ahead and start offering to refund if they'll remove the feedback and then sellers are learning that if you give somebody a negative then they're going to um hopefully get the item for free or discounted for free in this case, because she says she didn't get it. And I feel bad because, you know, I think it does happen sometimes that things get stolen, so things get misdelivered, but you know, it's not our fault. So there's our little teachable moment. You know, I, I'm loving that button. <laughs> eBay says they've had it for over a year, but I just found it recently. Oh, and then the neutral feedback that I received because he said the tablecloth was stiff, that was new in the package vintage. I went ahead and sent a feedback revision. I had sent him a message and he said the, feed, the feedback stands. But I went ahead and sent a feedback revision and said, this is more about the quality of the product and not the service that I provided you and he removed it. So yay, I'm back up to 100%. Not that neutrals do that, but to me, I like to see zero, 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 zero. All right, let's move on. This is Hug and Love, St. Bernard. All right, you guys, that's the Rebel Reseller. Sub her up. Great reselling tips, great bolos. Um, I am going to have to say that I totally agree with what she's saying. A lot of people, um, buyers on eBay, they learn to manipulate the system to get refunds. And unfortunately, um, a lot of sellers just, like she said, they jump to just sending a refund. Um, really, really take into consideration everything that is going on. And um, don't just be quick to issue a refund. I always make the buyers return the item. Um, a lot of times people will open a return request and they don't really want to return the item. They just know that, especially on inexpensive items, that the um, if they open an item not as described, that the seller is going to have to pay the shipping to get it back. Um, so a lot of times the seller will just close the case and let the person keep the item. Um, I always force a return. And a lot of times, you guys, people don't actually return the item um, because really their intent was never to return the item. They were hoping to get a refund. So there's a lot of um, things out there where buyers, unfortunately, do this to sellers. And I agree with Rebel. You've got to you've really got to do it by a case, a case by case. 
Now, I'm not saying if I'm completely wrong and I totally mess up, I'm not saying I've never just refunded the buyer. Um, I have, but in most cases, I force the return. And you guys will have to use your best judgment on that. But uh, just think about it before you do it. And um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know of your experience in the comments with negative feedback. Have you had luck getting it removed? What steps did you take? What do you feel like works best for you? And again, you guys, not all negative feedback are eligible for removal. There are guidelines, but it doesn't hurt to, to try. So you click on seller help, go in, request removal, put why you think it should be removed. And if it's removable, eBay is going to remove it just like that. So tell me, did you know about this button? So again, shout out to the Rebel Reseller. Thank you so much for talking about this in your video. I am glad that I can come on here and share with my viewers about it and shout you out and hopefully get you some new subs because you deserve every sub. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.